My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who are impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. A couple years ago, I got a call from a gentleman who had rats killing his chickens. We came and cleared out the rats after some effort on both his and our part, and his problem was solved for a while. Oh my goodness, there's so many rats. Now, almost exactly two years later, he has a rat back in his place again. He wasted no time in calling us, so we could get there and quickly kill the rats before they began reproducing. So you say they're getting in the chicks again? Yeah, so you see a hole there, see a hole here. You can see here what the rats have been doing. They do more than just eat the chicken feed. They actually kill the chickens. Killed this young little chicken. Stripped all the meat off of it. And, uh, yeah, we got to get them before they just decimate the flock. And rats are so small they can get into some real tight holes, so it's pretty hard to predator proof against rats. <laughs> Rats are highly predatory towards smaller rodents yeah, like mice, so it's unusual to see mice in an area with rats. They look, they look like, did you have mice at all, did you notice, at different times? They're, well, I thought they were maybe smaller rats because they, they, they look long and dark gray. <laughs> Those look like mouse tunnels. Sure enough, we found sign of mice once living there, but no actual live mice. This tells me that the rats have been living there just long enough to wipe out the mouse population, along with killing and eating several of their younger chickens. Okay, I'm putting her down. Is everybody ready? Where was she coming in and out of when, um, when you saw her? Right there. Same place, huh? Yeah. She never came out anywhere else? She did come out there like once. Because I saw her in a hole near here. But that doesn't mean those holes are even connected, you know? She's really interested there, huh? She's right there, right there. Get, get out of the tail. No. It's right there. Look, you the tail right there. Oh, oh, she's got it. You got it. You got something. Good job, Leia. Good job. Good job, Leia. Good job. She got it. Good dog. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's the mink. The mink chased it right here. The mink's right here. I think it's pregnant. Ooh. Maybe. Good job. That mink was hunting see, something. See You're right. Mink's right there. Good job, Leia. Mink. That's a good girl, V. Like, that's a good girl. You got that rat. Yeah, I think that I'm pretty sure they're having a tug of war. Dog on one side, mink on the other. And of course, the dog won that tug of war, you know. That was awesome. Good job, Vila. That was a good end to a tricky little hunt. It was real hard, tight, tight spaces. That's why we had to use Vila. She's the only mink small enough to squeeze in those tiny little cracks in the wall. And, Run the length of the wall but luckily enough she got it and the dog just happened to be there because man we were all over the place and just so happened that leia was there at the right moment bam grabbed the rat rat couldn't go anywhere because the mink pinned it in and the two just did a tug of war until it come out good job leia dog does a good job yes
Let's see. Yep, you can see the fetuses clearly. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That mama rat had ten babies in her. Eleven rats killed with one shot. <laughs> That's a pretty good catch. These rats would have been born within just the next couple days. And then from that point, um, it would have been just another three or four weeks before they're running around on their own. Six weeks, roughly, after they start running around, that they would have been able to give birth to their own litters. So these guys, they, uh, they breed pretty fast. They mature very fast, and it really wouldn't have been long before they would have had a whole bunch of rats running around. Fortunately, we were able to catch them before they got going and uh, end the uh, potential catastrophe that would have happened if these guys would have grew up and started uh, producing their own litters. So we just came from uh, catching some rats in someone's backyard. We thought we'd take Boone out here for a little bit and check this place, see if uh, he can find a rat hiding in the bushes. So let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, there's something. There's something. Did you see anything? There's something in there. Oh, you get it? Yeah, you got it. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. There it is again. Woo -hoo. Oh, he's all tangled down. I think he got it again. <laughs> that was crazy. He did a big old circle. I'm surprised he wasn't more tangled. Boom. Can you be the rat, dude? Okay, go get it. Go get all this yummy food. You gotta go bring the rat back. Finally got a male. Prefer to get females. They're the ones who breed, you know. One male could impregnate two dozen females, so one male is not that vital for reducing the population, but every single female does make it somewhat of a hit. Breeder sized females does make a hit at the population, but anyway, one less rat's better than it still being around. That's a good mink. That's a good boy. So this time of year is when rat populations are at an all-time high. So basically the early to mid fall is really when rat populations are at their highest due to the fact that they've had all spring and summer to reproduce. So rats are actively breeding by three months old. So any female rats that were born in like you know, March, April, May, they've had a chance to be grown up and start producing their own litters themselves. So their mothers produced litters all throughout the summer, assuming they didn't get eaten. And then the first few litters that those mothers have produced are now producing litters. So right now, before the times get hard, because as soon as the cold hits, the rat numbers start dropping off. So right now they're, they're at or really close to their peak. So we're gonna be getting the most calls that we'll get all year right about this time. People start having rats in their backyard and rats under their porch and rats under their back sheds. And um, yeah, it's a great time to start hunting for rats. 
So hopefully we'll have a bunch more videos for you and you guys will get to enjoy them. Thanks for watching guys, we'll show you more next time. Now if you're really wanting to dive into mink and learn the nitty gritty details, I would strongly recommend you read my book, The New Sport of Minkinry. If you would like to support us, you can buy a shirt or hat, or consider becoming one of my faithful patrons. Just go to the links in the description below.